will bring such a person down. But if you come down, if you say, Lord, who am I? I'm just a creature. Who am I? I'm a person that was saved by your grace. Who am I? What did I have when I came into the kingdom and now I'm in the kingdom and you have done all this for me? I bend the knee before you. I bow my, my backbone that I've been erect and stiff. I bend all that and I bow before you. I honor you. I hallow you. As you humble yourself before the Lord, the Lord will lift you up. He will do wonders in your life in Jesus' name. Look at number three here. Number three here, we're looking at the eternal description of the God who is able. The God who is able. The God who is able. Able. Look at Daniel chapter 3, and I'm reading from verse 17. Daniel chapter 3, we're looking at verse 17. It says, if it be so, our God whom we serve is able. Our God whom we serve is able. Yes, he's able, always able. But don't forget that part, whom we serve. We serve him in the day, at night, everywhere. Whom we serve, we serve him with our heart, with our soul, with our mind. Whom we serve, we serve him with our hands. And we serve him in duty. Whom we serve, we serve him with our consecration. We serve him with everything we've got. Our God, whom we serve, is able able to deliver us from thy bony in furry furnace and he will deliver us out of thy hand O king the Lord will deliver you because our God is able is your God able I said is your God able able to do what Hebrews chapter 7 I'm reading from verse 25 Hebrews chapter 7 reading from verse 25 it tells us it says wherefore he is able also to save to the uttermost, able to save to the uttermost part of the earth, able to save to the uttermost condition on earth, able to save at the extreme circumstances in life. He is able, able to save to the uttermost that come unto God by him seeing. He ever live to make intercession for them. Able. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 1, reading from verse 12. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, reading from verse in the middle here, in the middle, therefore I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded. Beyond any shadow of doubt, I am persuaded. It says that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Look at Hebrews chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 18. Hebrews chapter 2, reading from verse 18, for in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor, to support, to sustain them that are tempted. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, reading from verse 8, it tells us, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound unto every good work. We serve a God who is able. Look at Romans chapter 4, reading from verse 20. Romans chapter 4, we're looking at verse 20. It's still telling us about God who is able and the attitude of Abraham and the disposition of Abraham and the faith of Abraham and the loyalty of Abraham and the faithfulness of Abraham. Abraham, because he knew the kind of God he was serving. And he says, he staggered not at the promise of God, 
through unbelief, but he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And then in verse 21, in verse 21, he says, and be fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. As he promised a child for the barren, is able also to perform. As he promised that he will revitalize the, the body of a hundred-year-old man, a ninety-year-old woman, and they will still have a bundle of laughter called Isaac, able, able to perform what he had promised. We're looking at Ephesians chapter 3, and I'm reading from verse 20. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, it says, Now unto him that is able, 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 able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. And then in verse 21, it says unto him, be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end, and everybody said, Amen. Ephesians chapter 6, and I'm reading from verse 11. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11, it says, Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand. Because we have a God who is able, we serve a God who is able, we trust in the God who is able, which you, we can put on the whole armor of God, and we're able to stand against the was of the devil. Then in verse 13, in verse 13, he assures us, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand. Able to withstand. Able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand. Look at verse 16 there. In verse 16 it says, above all, beyond all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able. The shield of faith. A man of faith, a woman of faith, a person of faith, a believer that believes the promises of God all the time. And everywhere he goes, seek is coming, he had the shield of faith. Attack is coming, he had the uh, shield of faith. And the utterances of the paths of darkness, they're coming, he had the shield of faith. He has a dream that is destabilizing. He has the shield of faith. And he says, above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith he shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. It will be fulfilled in your life fulfilled in your life. Look at Jude chapter 1, only one chapter in Jude and verse 24. Jude chapter 1, we're looking at verse 24 now, unto him that is able, my heart unto him, my life unto him, my consecration unto him, my progress unto him, my future in his hand, my past in his hand, and my present in his hand, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. He'll keep you from falling. And then he says, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Verse 25, in verse 25, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Heaven says amen to your life. Yeah. And every impossibility will become possible in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Able, able, God is able. Rise up and affirm that in your life. Able, able, God is able in your life. Able, Able, God is able. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. That God, in his great ability, in his divine power, that he'll make all good things possible in your life. When he threatens with judgment, 
is able to fulfill that. When he encourages with promises, is able to fulfill that. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer.